Hey, this is Rebecca McClung, and I am doing another video in the Flipped Classroom series. This one helps students create videos of their um, Google Slides. So using Google Slides is a little different than a PowerPoint presentation. So in the presentation, I wanted aspects to um, fade in and out to kind of go slow enough for the viewer to read the information. So I collected some resources online. I collaborated it all together, and this is the product that I'm showing. So on this on this slide, there's a few issues with it, so we'll edit it. So I click on the slide that I want, click on the word slide, click on transition, and I'm going to find out what words are coming in and out. So my first, all right, my first thing that shows up is this is all these words. They're coming in pretty slow with previous by, let's just flip the whole thing, by paragraph, the whole deal. And then this one's to do it again, and we're not even doing it. Oh, there it is, whole paragraph. So now it'll go the whole paragraph, why I vote, and then the sticker is going to fade in, and then the sticker will fade out. Let me show you again. So you got this. Let's say I want to take this word register and it's fading in and then it's fading out. I kind of like that. Let's see. Fade in with the previous. So that means the next thing to come up is this. And then what's going to come up is my quote. And then this information on can I vote. And then that'll fade out. And then my quote will fade out. So when you're going to go to screen castify, uh, you click this, although it's red right now because I'm filming. So let me show you what the screen would look like. I'm going to pull up my files. If files isn't showing up on your screen, pointing to the screen doesn't work when I'm filming. Um, I can click files and it says files. So when I take a screenshot, I, I click uh, control in the window. Um, it's like a square with two lines. So these are my downloads, and the downloads go directly to the hard drive of your laptop. So this is the screenshot I took. And when you click Screencastify, this will pop up. You can record just the camera, so it's a big version of your face. Or you can do the desktop, and I also embed a web camera in the bottom, so that's why you can see my screen, uh, me on the screen. So once you're ready to go, the microphone defaults, the video camera defaults, show preview in the window, although I can't see it right now because I'm doing all these different um, things. Oh, of course, clicking record doesn't work. <laughs> So I'm going to show you. So when you are pres when you're filming screen castifying a Google slide, you don't have to have your face in the screen. Also, um, so you would set it up ready to go. You're going to click present and then you're going to hit play. So if I didn't have my face in the screen, I might not read it. I would just let it play. And then when I'm done, click, click, and it's done. But because my face is in the screen, it's like this, this, um, I'm actually going to just read along as it's presenting. So you click present and play. And it says, vote, vote, vote. The vote is the most powerful instrument ever devised by man for breaking down injustice and destroying terrible walls, which imprison men because of the different of other men. Register. So this bad officials are elected by good citizens who don't vote. 
students 18 or up register to vote, you can go to www.canivote.org and see if you're registered. Once you're registered, you can vote in any election. Why should you vote? Well, the reasons you should vote, you can decide. You have a voice, so use it and don't let others decide for you. It's your right. People have fought hard their whole lives to vote. Some countries still can't. Don't take it for granted. Representation. Want politicians in office who represent you. Why every vote counts. Votes get votes can get very close for people by the people of the people one person can vote so you get a fresh i voted sticker reasons to vote for our school issues keeping our school facilities benefit of small classrooms availability of clubs availability of sports variety of electives class trips and school budget Last but not least, when is the next election? November 7th, 2017. You can go to elections.mytimetovote.com and it allows you to know when the next election is coming. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I hope you can find success in your presentation as well.